Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil, and it's time to talk Avatar The Last Airbender. I am excited, guys. I This is the pro and the con of watching on a streaming services. It's almost impossible to avoid episode titles and thumbnails, and I know the name of this episode, and I've seen a thumbnail, and I... I think we might finally be getting to the North Pole. After 18 episodes of Season 1, our journey from the South Pole to the North Pole may be complete. Um, because this episode, Episode 18, is called The Waterbending Master. And that's why we're going to the North Pole. To find a waterbending master who can teach Aang, teach Katara, make them waterbending masters too, hopefully. And uh, our journey can progress. So... Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for all season long. Maybe it's... I mean, there's a chance this is some red herring of a title. But I'm, I'm optimistic that we're finally here. The timing feels right. In fact, it feels overdue. But, but we're finally here. So I'm excited to jump right into it. I hope you guys are too. Episode 18, The Waterbending Master. Koala? That doesn't feel like a North Pole. I'm not one to complain, but can Appa fly any higher? Or is that like a sea otter? Why don't we all get on your back and you can fly us to the North Pole? Climb on, everyone. Sokka is ready for takeoff. <laughs> we can't even find the Northern Water Tribe. There's nothing up here. Okay. Whoa. Ah! That feels like the work of a waterbender. Oh. Oh, They're I like their benders. look. We found the water tribe. Wow. They feel the military esque. He's looking for a teacher. The water tribe is a great nation. There's a reason they've survived a hundred years of war. We'll need a massive invasion force. Oh dear. Massive invasion there doesn't sound is. good. Wow. The Northern Water Tribe. It's a wall of ice in the north? Who who thought of it first? Wow. These guys are so much more powerful and advanced than it feels like Katara's tribe were. Wow. We'll find a master to teach us no problem. Assuming they want to train you. This is huge. So the whole city's just made of ice. This was so not what I was expecting. <laughs> this place is beautiful. Yeah, she is. Well, we're gonna see her again, I assume. Four seasons for love. Oh no. Why are they? Why is he here? How does this mesh with his massive invasion force? Tonight, we celebrate the Avatar. Yeah! We also celebrate my daughter's 16th birthday. No. Princess Yue is now of marrying age. <laughs> Princess Yue. Hi there, Sokka, Southern Water Tribe. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Just. You know, back in my tribe, I'm kind of like a prince myself. <laughs> or a prince of what? Yeah. A lot of things. I'm thinking maybe we could do an activity together. Do an activity? Do Very smooth. <laughs> Just because you're destined to save the world, don't expect any special treatment. Fair enough. My friend and I can't wait to start training with you. After we relax for a couple of days. No, how about now? I'll see you both at sunrise. Good night. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, get to it, Aang. Come on. I'm taking your crew. What? I've recruited them for a little expedition to the North Pole. He's taking everyone. Even the cook. Oh, <laughs> poor Iroh. But I can't have you getting in my way again. Wow, so he's just... Oh! Doing that to get in Zuko's way. He recognizes those swords, doesn't he? Have you heard of the Blue Spirit, General Iroh? 
Just rumors. He's a criminal and an enemy of the Fire Nation. Justice will catch up with him soon. Oh, yeah. If Zhao didn't know before, and I feel like he might have almost recognized... from a real waterbending master. ...recognized Zuko during that escape. You didn't tell me your friend was a girl. In our tribe, it is forbidden for women to learn waterbending. Oh. Didn't see that coming. I didn't travel across the entire world, so you can tell me no. No. Here, the women learn from Yagoda to use their waterbending to heal. If you won't teach Katara, then... Then what? Then I won't learn from you. Well, have fun teaching yourself. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Wait. You have to learn from Master Paku, even if he is a big jerk. Yeah. She's right. Boy, your dad sure knows how to throw a party. Is she going to teach Katara? Is well, she a bender? it wasn't as much fun after you left. Oh. Do an activity, you mean? Yes, at a place for at, some time. An activity at a place I'm for some time. Bridge tonight. You all seem highly qualified for the mission I have in mind. Oh, the pirates are back. What do you need us to do? I believe you're acquainted with Prince Zuko. Oh. Are you here for the healing lesson? Is she going to learn to be a healer? I mean, it's not a bad thing. Lots of little girls. I guess I am. Maybe that move is too advanced for you. Why don't you try an easier one? Patience. Patience, saying. You're getting married, right? Oh. <laughs> no, my grandmother gave my mother this necklace, and my mother passed it down to me. I don't know why I didn't realize sooner. You're the spitting image of Kana. How do you know my grand-grand's name? She was born it's her here grand -grand's in the friend. tribe. She never told me. She's from the north. If Grand Grand was engaged, why did she leave? That's always been a mystery to me. She left without saying goodbye. Huh. Grand Grand's becoming a part of the story. It's a lovely night for a walk. Why don't you join me? Whatever makes you happy. I like Iroh. Oh, here come the pirates. Zuko v the pirates, presumably. He's the only one left on board. What's in the barrels? I have no idea what they're called. Oh. Careful with the blasting jelly. Blasting gel. Okay. Just like in Jet, all the callbacks are starting to happen. So presumably Admiral Zhao is going to sink the ship. Kaboom. Wow. Yeah, the, 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 the ship's gone. Zuko. I can't imagine Zuko's dead, but is Iroh just going to assume he's dead? I carved it myself. It's a bear. It's supposed to be a fish. <laughs> has a fin. I shouldn't have asked you to come here. Oh, girls being dramatic. What was that about? What happened? At night, you can teach me whatever moves you learn from Master Paku. That way, you have someone to practice with and I get to learn waterbending. Everyone's happy. I'm not happy. But you're never happy. Come it's on. true. You'll always be miserable and it's your own, your own doing. No. That wasn't me. Someone else was. You have disrespected me, my teachings, oh. and my entire culture. I'm sorry, I. You are no longer welcome as my student. Oh. There's got to be another master. Please. I suspect he might change his mind if you apologize to him. She will. I'm waiting, little girl. No way am I apologizing to a sour old man like you! I'll be outside if you're man enough to fight me. <gasps> oh, right? I'm sure she didn't mean that. Yeah, I think she did. I think she did. I mean, I admire her spirit, but sometimes you just gotta suck it up. 
You know who was behind the attack? Yes. Pirates. They wanted revenge. Does Iroh know more than that? He's a it clever... It would be an honor to serve as your general. He's, he's... the Fire Nation. Yeah, I think he knows victory. more. I think he's he's going in as a mole. Go back to the healing huts with the other women where you belong. Fine. Study closely. You can't knock me down. Go, Katara. <laughs> I like how imaginative this is. <laughs> I mean, it would be weird if Katara could just win this fight, but I love that she's like doing all right. You are an excellent waterbender. But you still won't teach me, will you? No. Oh, was he the one that was gonna marry Grand Grand? I think he's the one that was gonna marry Grand Grand. Yes, you are. Yep. I made this 60 years ago for the love of my life. That's why he's so bitter. For Kama. My grand grand was supposed to marry you? <laughs> no wonder he hates women so much. But that's the whole no, culture. It's not just him. Perfectly. Zhao doesn't suspect a thing. Oh. Thank you, Uncle. Good luck. I love Iroh. Like, I don't want them to obviously get Aang, but his loyalty. Grand Grand wouldn't let your tribe's stupid customs run her life. That's why she left. <laughs> Go get her. You don't understand. I think I do understand now. You're a princess, and I'm... I'm just a southern peasant. It's okay. I'll see you around, okay? Okay, now I'm really confused. <laughs> I do like you a lot. But she's promised. But we can't be together. And not for the reason you think. I'm sorry. Hey, Katara. What do you think you're doing? It's past sunrise. You're late. Oh? Good to see you here. You too. All right. So we're just changing the customs of the entire culture overnight. So well, that's cool. Set a course for the Northern Water Tribe. How big is this fleet? Holy crap, that's a big fleet. Jeepers. Well, all right. We are... We are amping it up, aren't we? We're, we're building up to the season finale. You can feel where it's going now. The Fire Nation is assembling this vast navy, this vast um, armada to attack the Northern Water Tribe. Presumably they know exactly where that city is, but now they're coming in force. We're going to have this massive fire versus water battle. Um, I love that this northern water tribe is so different from our southern tribe. I I was expecting another small group, and instead we've got this massive city, ton of water benders, this really elaborate architecture all out of ice, and and this kind of backward sexist culture at the same time, where they don't train women to be benders, only healers. And, um, you know, as useful as it would be to have some healing skills in the group, I think it's more important with everything that we've seen all season that Katara learns to be able to fight as a waterbender. And uh, her spirit against this old master um, was sufficient to persuade him to change his mind and to train her as well. So that's really cool. I feel like, you know, we're, we're certainly doing some callbacks this episode, but we're also introducing some new characters that I think might be sticking around. Our princess. There's some parallels, I think, happening here. Grand Grand, who knew we were going to be talking about her again, but she 
left the, the, the North because of this arranged marriage, as it turned out, to our master because she didn't believe in those parts of the culture. So she struck out to the South Pole instead. And now we've got our this new princess who's just turned 16. She's of age to marry. She's engaged to somebody. We don't know who yet. Presumably some well-to-do water bender up north but she for whatever reason likes Sokka even though they've had very little interaction but she likes him and she can't be with him because she's engaged she's she's got this engagement necklace that that you know that's a fun reveal that that Katara's necklace this whole time was her grand grand's engagement necklace but um I feel like our princess just like Grand Grand ran away 60 years ago, maybe our princess runs away too. You know, uh, add somebody else, uh, add another water bender to the team. Could be. I feel like the team at some point is going to grow, and if if we add one for season two, that kind of makes sense to me. Um, I wouldn't have anticipated another waterbender. I would have anticipated adding an, an earthbender or a firebender to the team. But uh, but who knows? Who knows? And, and giving Sokka a love interest? Nothing wrong with that either. We, we called back the pirates from a, a handful of episodes ago. And, and there's this interesting back and forth between... Iroh and Zhao now, isn't there? Zhao is using the pirates to mislead Iroh. For, well, first, Zhao um, steals away all of Zuko's crew, leaving Zuko and Iroh alone on, the, on their ship. And then he hires the pirates to blow up the ship and, and also theoretically to mislead Iroh in who did, who did it. Um, yes, it was the pirates, but they did it on behalf of Zhao. And, and Iroh's playing along, which is great. Uh, Iroh is uh, making Zhao think that A, Zuko's dead, B, he thinks the pirates did it, and C, he's willing to be, uh, to work directly under Zhao as a, as a, you know, taking up the mantle as a general again, even though he was sort of retired before. But instead of being dead, Zuko's uh, undercover. And how is he going to do this? You know, how, how is one random sailor, part of this vast Fire Nation armada, going to swing the tide of this coming battle? Because we've got the, we definitely have this battle coming. The Fire Nation versus the, the Northern Water Tribe. And I feel like that's the remainder of our season. I think that that could easily be a two-parter. There, there's a ton that could happen. I don't, I don't know how quickly Fire Nation is actually going to find and get to the Northern Water Tribe, but I hope it's not a. It, it shouldn't be a quick battle either way. Either, it, it, it feels like we a lot can happen, and and hopefully, before it happens. Aang and Katara learn enough new skills that they can uh, they can really contribute to the defense of the Northern Water Tribe. So I am psyched to see what happens next. I like how quickly things have uh, crystallized, and now we know exactly what the rest of the season looks like. and And I'm psyched for it. I'm 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 really excited to see what they've laid out on the table for us. Um, so yeah. I guess we have to wait a week to find out what happens next, but I can't wait for it. Until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.